we're on easy street and it feels so sweet because the world is but a treat when you're on easy street welcome to the easy street radio show hosted by rob scribner grab a cup of coffee and let's get started hey thanks for watching our video please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world this will help us grow also note buying some of our merchandise or donating to our channel is very helpful also thank you for supporting our show hey guys welcome to easy street we're back <laughs> that's right easy street we are syndicated on good talk radio and on spreaker and on spotify and all over the place and if you want to find us if you can't find us just go down to the description you will find all the links below where you can find easy street we are a half hour show we are syndicated on good talk radio uh, you can go to good talk radio check out the schedule and find out when we play there to hear some of our other episodes so here we are <laughs> my message if you want to i just i want to have a let's just let's talk let's just talk a lot of stuff has happened today. We got the P word, and no, not Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> the who said the P word? Yeah. So um, we have a uh, pan pandemic kind of thing going on here. We have to be careful what we say, and uh, <clears throat> we uh, also had. Um, Washington pretty much shut down all a bunch of things. No, no more partying. <laughs> uh, no more than 250 people in a group. Schools are being suggested to shut down, things like that. And then the second P word came along, which was our president uh, addressed the nation saying, uh, we're going to get a little, uh, we're getting a little tougher here. We're going to cut off uh, Europe. And, uh, why not? I mean, actually, uh, it seemed to help that we cut off uh, China in the first place, slowed things down, didn't stop everything. And it's not going to stop everything. In fact, they're saying and we're, just, we're not going to stop this. We can slow it down. So uh, my message, at least at our family, I can tell you what we're doing in our family. So this isn't, this isn't me telling you what to do. This is me just saying how, 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 is Robin Sherry handling this? We're both pushing our 60s. We're not there yet. Don't don't say it. Anyway, um, and so you know we have concerns. Um, it's worse for over 60, and and it's a really bad if you're in your 70s and 80s. That's one concern. Luckily, it's just me and Sherry. You're both in pretty good shape, and uh, we're in a state right now. We're in Arizona. That is not um, suffering from a, as many cases as Washington, but in two to three weeks, watch. You just play this. You play this episode, and then go like five episodes or ten episodes <laughs> further, and you'll find me going ah. But no, that's actually what I don't want you to do. What I have found has been very helpful, and uh, I'm just passing this on. So if it's, if it's advice that helps or suggestions and i've talked about this in some of the other shows is plan don't panic and what i mean by that is yes we're all concerned because like oh it's so different for everybody like sherry and i we don't have any kids in school however don't think we don't have something hovering over our a dark cloud over us and that would be a sherry's mother who's in a nursing home well actually assisted living and she's in her yes you got it 80s so um we need to step it up so how many of you guys have been going to costco <laughs> i'm sure you guys are hearing all the horror stories of going to costco and all that stuff and uh our family decision here is we're not going to costco anymore in fact we sat down tonight, shut off the television, shut off all the little, tele put your phones down, sit down with the family and say, okay, how's this going to affect us? And what if, and then play the what ifs. 
what if schools close and I have children? What if um, we know we need to kind of um, not be in crowds and around a lot of people? Uh, social distance, they call it, I believe. And so the first thing was like, well, what do we do that's right now? Sherry, what are we what are we doing that puts us around a lot of people? <laughs> and for anything it came up was Costco. So guys, if you're going to get into this, stop going to Costco and save yourself a lot of anguish. Because I found everything we needed at our Safeway. And if you haven't prepped by now, that's, I don't want to belittle anybody, but you should have done it. Uh, if not, please start doing it. Um, and it's not because of the CV stuff. I mean, there's a whole combination of things going on where you probably should have some supplies around the house. Extra, extra food, extra. I don't understand the water thing, but it doesn't hurt to have extra water anyway. But uh, I would not put as much emphasis on water as I would food that you could hold out for at least le two weeks is not long enough. Uh, I would say a month and uh, I'd start working on that. But so uh, I know a lot of you guys say, well, Costco, that's where their place to go. Well, yeah, that was the place to go. But they're suggesting to stay out of crowds. It means you shouldn't really be bowling or going to movies and casinos and, and uh, big shopping areas and stuff. Um, start evaluating. What are you doing that you could do better on? Now, this isn't government coming along and taking away our freedoms. This is proactive, I believe, that uh, they're saying these are what we found helps. Doesn't stop it. This is not a solution. This will slow it down. And I when I think about, I don't have children in school, but we do have a mother-in-law in a uh, assisted living. If Sherry and I make the wrong move, get exposed to the wrong people, we have the potential of killing her mother. And that's serious. I'm very serious. And so uh, we've uh, made the rule that only Sherry's going to visit her. Uh, we're probably going to tell our daughter not to go visit her. Um, and we're going to, uh, and, and they're already actually putting policies out out of her assisted living saying that only family members come in and only one at a time. It's smart. Do we like it? No, of course not. We don't like it. We don't like the fact I can't go to Costco. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? I can't get some, you know, uh, all my, uh, I can't get my free lunch by going on getting all those free samples. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay away from those germs, germs, germs. And so evaluates have to sit down in, with your family and say, what are we doing that we could improve our expo, you know, uh, improve or, or have less exposure to unwanted germs other than washing our hands more often, cleaning our services more often, being aware of our surroundings as far as what we're touching and being around and uh, our habits and uh, um, touching our face and things like that do better and most of all stay out of crowds because we don't know because they kind of dropped the ball on the testing thing since they did that we don't know who might have be carrying this stuff and because uh, not everybody's been tested and a lot of people um, will be afraid to be tested. We've talked about that before. And so um, one of the things I like that they're trying to resolve is the fact that a lot of people may get be out of work because of quarantines and uh, be out of work because of layoffs. Uh, anything that affects us as far as this, uh, as not only yourself, but taking care of a family member that they're apparently, I don't know the details, have uh, a programs that will help subsidize us to make sure we can still pay our bills and pay our mortgages and things like that. Uh, there's a tax cut too. I'm not really sure how much that'll affect us as, other than maybe a little more money in our pocket. But if you're laid off, what's the tax cut for your payroll tax going to do for you? I, I don't know. I don't know what more. I need to know more about that before I can really comment on it. 
But um, um, so that's a you know between unemployment, possibly a subsidized pro government program to help us maintain because their biggest fear, which I'm you know I'm right, is if you are an hourly employee and you can't work and you're not being paid. Um, two things. One is you may not have insurance to the funds to pay for all this. You may not actually even go to the doctor or get tested. And so they're making it where the, the test is free, that examinations will be free, your co-pay will be covered, and um, anything that pertains to um, treatment should be covered. And uh, that's all I know about it. How good that's going to work, that's a whole nother program. But they're trying to address that. Um, I think I was saying in was it Taiwan or no, one of the countries is literally going to pay people's mortgages and rent. Hey, that's better than the <laughs> it's better than the feds pumping a $100 billion into the stock market every day just to keep it afloat. Let's pump it into Americans. And uh, so, hey, may, you know, they're making Americans their highest priority and still balancing the business and the economics. Uh, but this is going to be devastating to every little business. Uh, I was watching a show up uh, King Five was doing up in Seattle. Yes, I monitor Seattle. And this poor guy has a, a yogurt stand in Seattle and nobody's stopping by. And it's killing him. And so times that by thousands and thousands of businesses of people aren't coming, aren't are out, out on the streets, they're not roaming around, business is dropping, restaurants are closed, uh, uh, employees need to be let go. It's a chain reaction. So we've only seen the beginning we know it's going to get worse and that's why i say plan not don't panic panic is not going to help at all but sit down and plan with your family members ahead of time and try to anticipate what could happen what if you can't go to school anymore what if you don't you get laid off <clears throat> What's your plan? What if uh, we our economic situation gets worse? Um, let's say we, only once or twice a week banks allow us to get money out of the bank or anything like that. Do you have some spare cash? Have you just done a couple of extra things that you've never done before that you should plan on doing now, not later? Don't think about it. Make a plan and act take action and in the government's right it takes all of us to tackle this we can do it by having better habits by staying away from other people for goodness sakes the last thing i want to do is expose sherry's mom to uh, this coronavirus so uh I'm, we're gonna abide by the rules there's no uh we're gonna be humble we're uh, like how dare they say we can't go there uh the facts are clear that being cautious is the smartest thing to do right now because there is no cure, there is no vaccine. And so uh, that's another word I shouldn't have just said that's going to kill me. But um, <clears throat> um, so that makes it a problem. And then they're suggesting that this virus has uh, has is 10 times worse effects on people than the flu don't know totally that's just the latest report and uh, that could change we need to keep watching and let them get a handle on this um, do we trust everybody I let's give everybody the benefit of the doubt that they're doing their best look through the the BS because if it's our Politicians, they've always got one thing on their mind is greed, and the other part is elections. So if you can 
filter what they say through knowing that that's what's in their head, you may get some facts. <clears throat> Should we depend on the government? No. Should we team up with the government? Probably. That's our best bet. Teaming up or being a team player, we do our part. What was Kennedy said? It's not what your country can do for you is what you can do for your country. Well, here we are. <laughs> it's time for us to work together. We take better habits. We stay away from crowds. We clean more. We follow the rules and they're trying their best not to dictate to us. And uh, we don't get on the uh, internet and say we're at war. And I got to tell you, uh, tonight I've watched Fox, CNBC, and I watch my alternative news. I watch Marfugel, and Marfugel was a little, his first show today was a little uptight, and I don't blame him. He's right in. He, everything that's going to happen to us is happening in Washington first. You could feel the uh, anxiety, but he's doing really well of staying calm and collective and planning. Then I watched AMTV and I had to turn it off because he was literally like, we're at war, we're at war with the, with this, this, and this. And then later on, he finally said, well, with the virus or well, anyway, it's like ridiculous. And, uh, I'm, I have to say that I was disappointed. Sometimes he's got really good information, but so you, even your alternative news, it's like, they need to stay calm and give us, that's what alternative news is all about is getting us the facts and reporting on the things that our mainstream won't do because they're driven by a different animal. And it's called greed and rate ratings. So, uh, it was kind of fun to watch all the different stuff, disappointed in some, I was actually watching ABC too. And they actually, after the president's address, very professional for a change. <laughs> no opinion, no backlash because of who our president is. It was really to the facts. It was like amazing. They're very, um, I could watch it again. I mean, I, I don't know how many times I've been on primetime going, oh, that was a biased report. But uh, so yeah, kudos to uh, ABC World News when they uh, covered the president. They uh, uh, went through all his statements, all his plans, and uh, noticed he was very serious and calm and collective in, and taking this very serious and making some tough decisions. To shut down travel between here and Europe is gigantic. And that includes shipping. <laughs> Wow. Uh, if you don't think that's going to affect us in our, our, our wallets, you get another thing coming. We haven't seen that wave come yet. And that's why I also, when you talk about, sit down with your family and say, okay, if my business is not getting parts or Walmart's not getting stuff, or uh, how are we affected if uh, we can't, just this, um, the, um, Peral we use <laughs> comes from France. Are you kidding me? And uh, oh, by the way, my last show, you probably saw that I was selling some stuff like Peral and stuff. I found one more thing. Um, I don't want you to think I'm taking advantage of this situation, but I did find some. Uh... <laughs> That's right. I got a whole package of bounty. And yes, um, I, I this this is good stuff. I'll let you have this for man that's pushing it i'm gonna i'm gonna keep the price down 39.95 yes 39.95 you can have this paper towel um it's good stuff it's pound it's bounty it's a better picker upper yeah so uh uh yeah so i don't want you to think we're taking advantage of you um <laughs> uh, kidding guys um anyway um um now, uh, you know, we also got to watch who we do business with because there will be people like that that will do things like that to us. Um, we have to watch Amazon. We have to watch some of the stores we deal with and we got to um, watch for price gouging and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, getting back to the point, what I'm asking you to do is sit down with your family tonight. Don't wait. 
do it immediately. Turn off all the noise and talk about and let everybody talk and play the what if game. What if schools close? What if I get laid off? What if I can't work? What if I can work at home? Some can, but your plumbers can't work at home. They can't work virtual. Um, your uh, dock workers, your people that build airplanes, aerospace, people that actually do hands-on stuff, they can't stay home. What's the plan? And, and, and then identify where the, the anguish is going to be and try to get a plan for that. Um, so you need to talk. You need to have communication and you need to tackle these hard conversations. How is this going to affect you and your family? And also, if you have grandparents you're taking care of or you go visit and stuff, is it wise to um, go visit them right now? Um, maybe only one member of the family goes that you know has been healthy and hasn't been around a lot of people. You need to think this stuff through. You need to plan and take action and you can't wait a couple of days after this video. You need to finish this video. Please finish this video. <laughs> and then shut off the television, shut off the noise, put down the t uh, phones and talk. Just talk and make a plan and then take action. But don't panic. After years of research and countless hours of R&D work, teams were assembled, research was presented, and the idea was put out to the public. If this could be done, the world would be amazed. Outdoor life would be changed forever. Hiking, vacation, and camping would never be the same. They got the work, they started designing, they made the product, and it's here today just for you. Yes, Ranger Rob poopy bags are finally here. They're bigger, deeper, smell like lemon, and strong. Available at Amazon at low cost and free shipping. All right, guys, we are back. Take two. Okay, guys, we are back. And uh, I wanted to share something with you. I did something I've never done before, and I'm kind of, I think it's kind of cool. Now, I told you guys it's always a good idea to diversify and and be uh and plan and uh so uh um i do a little collecting when it comes to coins and stuff but you know they're kind of right it doesn't hurt to have a little bit of silver around and so i'm going to get in the habit once a month to buy oh a couple of ounces ounce or two of coins but i just got my first American silver one ounce uncirculated uh, coin. Uh, so it's a silver a silver eagle. Let's see if I can get it up to the camera here just for you to see. Come on, focus. I don't know if I can get the light on it very good. I think it's beautiful. Let's see. You see it? That's a nice hunk of metal. It's kind of cool. I've never really bought in silver before, but I decided I want to get silver coins. Um, so <clears throat> I can get you know, silver at a uh, SD bullion for about 18, let's say $19 an ounce. Now the going rate's like 15, 16, which means hopefully in five years or something, if the price of silver goes up, it'll be worth something. But it's kind of funny if you think about it, you buy a coin like this, Wish I can get it focus better for you, but you get a coin. Let's see, take it to here. There, you can see a little better. Get the light just right. Here, let me get it. <laughs> anyway, it's it's a pretty coin. It's really cool and it's really heavy. I really like the feel of it. It's kind of funny when you buy a dollar coin for twenty bucks. I'll just say twenty bucks. Um, feels kind of funny but it's all about the silver um, anyway and it's you know you get a certification with it and uh, yeah it's really 99.99 percent silver so I was pretty happy to get that and so uh, uh, I'm gonna actually just start 
buying one or two a month. And uh, if I never use them, what the heck? Two is kind of a fun little collection to get the different coins. Um, try to get them for the best price possible. And, you know, if silver jumps up to 20 bucks an ounce or 25 an ounce, uh, I've made money. If I don't use them, my kids inherit it. And they'll be tickled pink with it and they'll be worth a lot more. So um, my point to the whole thing is it's not something I would normally do. Uh, I've pulled $1,000 of cash out of the bank. Uh, we've done it in a period of time, and I'm going to continue to do so de depending on how things go for the next couple of weeks. It doesn't mean I'm panicking. I'm planning. Got it? So, uh, hey, why don't you snag a little bit of silver? Make a great gift if you never use it. Um, probably would be a good value over time anyway. Um, it's kind of a funny way to look at like stocks. They say, okay, if you're in stocks and they're diving right now, you're losing money. What's the smarter thing to do? So you hear everybody saying buy silver and gold. Not because you're going to make good money like you do off your 401k. It means you hold on to what you already got. <laughs> And uh, during, and by the way, some of the research, uh, I was uh, doing some research during recessions, gold and silver don't go skyrocketing and stuff. Actually, they hold their value. Um, every recession all the way back to uh, 1929 um, shows that gold and silver didn't fluctuate what much. Uh, they did up, up a little bit and down a little bit. We're only talking about small amounts, but they held their value. While stocks were going and diving and doing everything else, people that put their money in metals um, uh, held their value. They didn't lose money. They didn't gain money. Um, that's, as, that's as stupid as if you want to look at it. If you're trying to make money when you're young, leave your money where it's at. Time will fix it. But um, uh, it's also the dumb thing where I learned from my father years ago. Don't make it where the IRS owes you money all the time because that means they're holding your money and they're getting it interest free. That's stupid. So don't try to try to balance out your tax returns where you're just breaking even. Um, that's the smart money things to do. That money should have been in your wallet, not theirs. So anyway, but I wanted to show you my coin just to give you an idea of things that you might want to change your ways. I'm older than most of you guys. And I'm trying new things, just like technology. You probably see some of our shows. We're using a new technology that I don't usually use because someone showed it to me. Um, be willing to look at the stuff. And once again, don't panic. Plan. So circumstances have changed. How do you change with it? Don't be angry at the government. Don't be angry at all the organizations. There's bureaucracy they got to put up. You guys all work and have jobs. You know what bureaucracy is all about. I mean, come on. <laughs> Why don't you start depending on yourself a little? So anyway, I hope that was a good show to just have a talk with you. Give you f food for thought. I'm not telling you our way is better. I'm not telling you you should buy stuff. I don't think you should invest. I don't think you have to buy silver and gold. I'm just telling you to what Sherry and I have been doing. And if it helps motivate you or make you feel a little better, because we're all in this together. Our president said that. I'm saying it to my president. Yes, we are in this together. Here's what I'll do. But you do your best to get make sure that I don't miss my mortgage payment. And it sounds like he's trying to do that. So that's cool with me. <laughs> so guys, we're in this together. Start planning, and most of all, take action. So, guys, thank you very much for watching the show. This is Easy Street. I can't thank you enough. And please, please share our shows, like our shows, subscribe to our channel. It really helps us. And don't forget to buy some poopy bags. It helps our channel, helps our uh, radio station, the whole thing. So, guys, have a great evening. Bye now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos. 
all over the whole wide world. Thanks.